Okay, once we've done the integration to get our beams, we can graph them in Excel, and this will literally draw the deflected shape. And so we can see if we get the if we see if we've got the equations right by looking at the shape of the graph. So I've got here two graphs, one for slope, one for deflection. I've got my x value all the way at half meter intervals to 12, and I've got an equation for slope and an equation for deflection. And we remember that the load is applied at 8, so the equations change at 8, which is why one's in yellow, one's in green. So let's go ahead and put the equation in. When x is between 0 and 8, the equation here equals 4 times x squared. So there's a value for x, put it in squared. Um, you can see the formula I'm putting in up here. And then minus 170.7. There, and then we can fill this down to here, and that's our slope for that first part. Then for the second part here, our equation was 192 times x minus 8 times x squared minus 938. And what we should see is the same value here and here. And then we fill that down to here, and then we'll see this, our slope graph there, which is a nice smooth slope, as we expect. Coming to deflection then, we know that our deflection equals 4 over 3 times x cubed minus... 170.7 times x. And because we're at a support, we should get a value of zero there. So we fill that down to there, and we can see the first part of the, um, the slope, sorry, the deflection curve there. We come down to here, when x equals eight, then our graph changed, it became uh, 96 times x squared minus 8 over 3 times x cubed minus 938.7 times x plus 2048. And again, we should value should match that value. And when we get to 12, if we've done it right, that value should be zero. Minus 0.4, let's call that a rounding error. There is our deflection shape of our beam, which looks like, yep, we've put a load on two thirds there. It bends a little bit more. You can imagine that's the right shape. And there's the slope. And that is the end of this uh, beam. So we've put an equation with just one load. You can actually, whatever loads you put on, um, you can, you can integrate it and get the slope, and that's the slope of the beam. Well done.